The next stage of the handover that we do at the end of the commissioning stage for our MVHR systems and for this Zender Q MVHR system is we go through some of the control functions on the MVHR system itself. So if you go to menu, um, you can see filters, we've explained what they do, but if you go to task menu, there's a few quite interesting functions. So um, if you scroll down to boost, what you can do here is you can set a timer for the uh, boost speed. So it just increases the airflow. And if, for example, you have a party for three hours, you might say, let's boost it for, for three hours and um, it will automatically turn off after three hours. So that's the boost mode. Back into task menu. Oops. There we are. Back into task menu. Um, there's also an away mode. So if you go away on holiday, and you're coming back in two weeks, you can set the date and time that you'll be away until, and the unit will just ramp down into its lowest speed. So it will be turning the air in the house, keeping things fresh, but at a very low airflow rate. Um, so you can set that for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, and it saves some energy and keeps the house nice and fresh. Let's get it zoomed in. Uh, another really important um, aspect of the controls is your temperature profile on the Zender Q unit. So in summer and winter we have different seasons and the indoor temperature uh, comfort levels might be different. So in summer we might want the temperature to be a bit cooler and in winter a bit warmer. Um, what these temperature profiles do is they tell the unit when to um, automate its, its processes. So for example, it has an automatic summer bypass mode, this unit, and um, depending on whether you want a warm, um, normal or cool house, the summer bypass will activate sooner before it hits higher or lower temperatures. So normally in winter, we recommend that the temperature profile is set to warm or normal. And then as we go into spring, we recommend that it's set to cool. And it will just mean that the MVHR will um, activate its summer bypass mode so it will be just exhausting out the hot air sooner rather than later. So when it hits kind of 21, 22 degrees, it will start that process to help cool the indoor air. So that's the temperature profile, it's really important. And then the final um, really important aspect of the controls is the scheduler. So the scheduler, what you can do with this is you can create um, time periods when the unit will change its speed. So for example, you could say, okay, Monday to Friday, uh, 8 a.m. till 9 a.m., everyone's in the shower, so we'll set the unit to boost for one hour and then go back into quiet mode. Or Monday to Friday, um, we'll, we're all out of the house from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m., so we'll just set the, uh, the MVHR to away mode and it will just save some energy save on the lifetime of the filters because the airflow will be reduced whilst no one's in the house and then it will turn back up again when everyone's back in and the house is occupied. So this is really um, important aspect and you can set it on a daily level. So if you have a Wednesday night poker uh, session, you can set it to boost because you have lots of guests or, or whatever you need to do. So that's the scheduler. And that's pretty much the basics along with the filter changes of um, the handover for a Zender QMVHR unit.